Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. Now, I know we're already a few weeks into the new year and I'm a little late on this, but I am finally back with another healthy weight loss meal prep for y'all. And as with all my meal preps, this one's for a full five day work week and it includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And this one might just be in my top three favorite menus that I've ever created for y'all as far as meal preps go. The recipes on today's menu are super delicious and I cannot wait to hear your your feedback on them. Um, also, the recipes are gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and can be made low-carb. So for breakfast, we're making my hormone-supporting chia pudding with a homemade blueberry puree. And in this one, I'm going to be incorporating ashwagandha powder, which is an adaptogenic herb that helps to support your adrenal glands. And it can also help to give you a natural boost of energy without the caffeine. Lunch is my teriyaki ground turkey and rice bowl. And y'all, this one is to die for. It is so good. If you don't try any other recipe on this menu, try this one. It's one of my top three favorite recipes that I've ever shared with y'all. And of course, I'm using cauliflower rice today, um, not only to keep it low carb, but also to cut back on the calories since this is a weight loss meal prep. But feel free to substitute the cauliflower rice with white rice, brown rice, or even quinoa. For dinner, we're having this dairy-free, creamy Tuscan chicken over sauteed zucchini noodles. And again, you can use regular pasta, gluten-free pasta. I'm using the zucchini pasta just to cut back on calories since this is a weight loss meal prep. And we're keeping it real simple this week with our snacks. I'm packing some fresh celery sticks and almond butter. And of course, if you like to have more variety throughout the week, feel free to mix and match any of the recipes from my previous weight loss meal preps. And you can sort of build your own personalized menu. So I'll go ahead and link the healthy meal prep playlist for y'all in the description box below. And as always, the recipes for today's meal prep plus the macros for each recipe will be listed over on my blog where you can print them off. I've also created a free downloadable grocery shopping list for this week's menu. All of those links will be listed in the description box below. And by the way, if you are enjoying my five-day healthy meal preps, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below to let me know. As long as y'all are loving them, like I always say, I'm going to keep them coming. Anyway, let's head to the kitchen and get started. All right, let's start with making the hormone-supporting chia pudding. And I'm going to go ahead and pre-portion mine out in my meal prep containers. But you can also make this in a large batch in a bowl and just portion it out later. So in each container, I'm adding three tablespoons of chia seeds. And chia seeds are a good source of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. They also have antioxidant properties and contain important trace minerals such as zinc and copper. Then I'm adding in one cup of unsweetened almond milk to each container. Of course, you can use any type of milk and just give that a good mix until the chia seeds are fully mixed into the milk. And then to each container, I'm adding half a tablespoon of maple syrup. You can also use raw honey or even a low carb sweetener. And if you want it to be even sweeter, feel free to add more. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of ashwagandha powder. Now, if you've never used this before, start slowly with just one fourth teaspoon in each container. And because this is an adaptogenic herb, if you're on any sort of prescription medication, be sure to consult with your doctor before including this in your diet. But I absolutely love ashwagandha. It's great for supporting your adrenal glands and managing your body's stress response. And it can even give you a natural boost of energy without the caffeine. So sometimes I'll add it to my chia puddings or even to my smoothies. Okay, let's place these in the fridge to thicken up while we prep everything else. For the homemade blueberry puree, you're gonna need two cups of either fresh or frozen blueberries. And if you're using frozen, be sure to let them defrost overnight or for at least an hour. And then in a saucepan over medium heat, add in the blueberries and just let those simmer for a few minutes to soften. I like to go in with a potato masher and sort of break them up. And once they've started to heat through and soften a bit, add in two tablespoons of water two tablespoons of maple syrup or raw honey, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Turn the heat to low medium, cover it with a lid, and then let that simmer for about five to 10 minutes or until it begins to thicken and reaches your desired texture. And while that's simmering, I'm gonna quickly prep my sides. I'm gonna be having some grapefruit, but feel free to have whatever type of fruit you prefer. Grapefruits are full of vitamin C and antioxidants, and they may help to lower blood pressure and promote appetite control. I'm also boiling five eggs. And for an extra crunch and to sneak in some more healthy fats, I'm gonna chop up some walnuts. Of course, any type of nuts or seeds is fine. And we're gonna be adding two tablespoons of the chopped nuts to each meal prep container. 
Going back to the blueberry puree, turn off the heat and let it cool completely. And once it's cooled off, you can go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of it to each meal prep container. And by the way, you can use any type of berries for this puree to switch up the flavors. I've used raspberries, blackberries, and even strawberries. Let's top it off with the chopped walnuts. And then on the side, I'm adding in some grapefruit slices along with one boiled egg in each container. And feel free to add these sides the night before or the morning of if you want them to be more fresh. I just like showing y'all what the meals look like once they're fully assembled. But anyway, breakfast meal prep is done. Super simple, but also very nutritious and filling. Chia pudding is such a simple meal prep option, and there's so many different flavor variations you can make with it, so it really doesn't get old. And if you do wanna switch it up and try a different flavor chia pudding for this meal prep, I have several recipes listed on my blog. I'll link that for y'all below. Okay, moving on to lunch meal prep, and this is the one that I'm most excited to share with y'all. It is so good. It's my soy-free teriyaki ground turkey and rice bowl. And if you only try one recipe from today's menu, please let it be this one. We're gonna prep the teriyaki sauce first, and to keep it soy-free, I use coconut aminos in place of the soy sauce. I found this one at my local grocery store, but I'll go ahead and link some on Amazon for y'all as well. You're gonna need half a cup of the coconut aminos. Let's go ahead and add that to a saucepan over medium heat along with one third cup of orange juice, three tablespoons of rice vinegar, or two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. But personally, with this sauce recipe, I like the rice vinegar better. Let's grate some fresh ginger root. You'll need one teaspoon of that, as well as one teaspoon of minced garlic, and one fourth teaspoon of chili flakes, which I forgot to pick up at the store, so I'm substituting that with red pepper flakes. And to sweeten it up a little bit, I'm adding in two tablespoons of raw honey. Whisk that all together until it's fully combined, then bring it to a light boil, and let that simmer for about five minutes, whisking occasionally to avoid burning. Now while that's simmering, let's quickly mix up two teaspoons of tapioca flour with one tablespoon of water, and you can also use arrowroot starch. Make sure you get all those lumps out, and then add that to the saucepan and whisk it for another two to three minutes to allow the sauce to thicken up. And once that reaches your desired texture, remove it from the heat and set it aside while we prep the ground turkey mixture. We're gonna chop up all the vegetables first, starting with half of a yellow onion, and you can chop it as thinly or as chunky as you'd like. And while we're on the topic of onions, I've heard a lot of people talking about the health benefits of quercetin lately. And fun fact about onions is that they are a great source of quercetin. I'm also chopping up half a cup of red bell pepper. Of course, you can use any color bell pepper for this recipe. Half a heaping cup of roughly chopped zucchini. You can also use yellow squash. One heaping cup of broccoli florets and feel free to cut them into whatever size you want. I like them to be in smaller bite-sized pieces so that way they'll cook through faster. And if you're not a fan of broccoli, you can also use cauliflower. I'm also gonna chop up some green onion to add to my cauliflower rice, but this is optional. And lastly, you're gonna need one and a half cups of grated carrots. And I find the easiest way to grate them is with my food processor. So I just add the grating tool that comes with it and simply run the stalks through the chute of your food processor. This way is so much faster in my opinion and I'm all about finding shortcuts in the kitchen, especially when meal prepping. All right, now it's time to start putting it all together. So in a large skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado oil, along with the chopped onion, and saute that until it's soft and translucent. Then add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Continue sauteing that for about one to two more minutes. And now I'm adding in one pound of ground turkey. And just break that up as much as possible. Once that turkey's about 70% done, you can add in all of the chopped vegetables. And I love seeing all these gorgeous colors. Mix that all up until everything is somewhat combined. Cover it with a lid to let those vegetables cook through, making sure that you stir it around occasionally to avoid burning. And once that turkey is completely done and the vegetables have softened, it's time to pour in the teriyaki sauce. And this is what's gonna take it to the next level. Once that teriyaki sauce is fully mixed into the turkey mixture, you wanna continue heating that through for a good five minutes or so, so that way the turkey and the vegetables can really soak up all those flavors. All right, once that's done, remove it from the heat and set it aside while we prep the cauliflower rice. 
To speed things up, I'm gonna be using frozen pre-riced cauliflower, but you can also rice your own cauliflower using a food processor. Now, if you are using frozen, be sure to let it defrost overnight or for at least an hour, but you're gonna need at least five cups of the riced cauliflower, and I'm simply adding that to a skillet over medium heat, covering it with a lid to help it cook and soften faster, and just continue to cook that until it reaches your desired texture. And now I'm gonna remove the lid to allow some of that excess liquid to evaporate, and at this point, add in some sea salt and pepper to taste along with the chopped green onion and just continue cooking that until most of that excess liquid has evaporated and by the way you don't have to use cauliflower rice with this recipe you can use regular white rice brown rice or even quinoa okay it's finally time to assemble our meal prep containers divide the cauliflower rice into roughly five equal parts and then add that to your containers do the same thing with the teriyaki turkey mixture go ahead and divide it into five equal parts and add that to the other side of the containers along with half of an avocado in each container. And like I always say, wait to add the avocado to the container the morning of. I'm adding them in now just to show you how the meal looks once it's fully assembled, and of course, for my blog photos. <laughs> but this is gonna ensure that you get enough healthy fats from the avocado and protein from the turkey mixture, which is gonna keep you full and satisfied for hours. But just like that, lunch meal prep is done, and I am so excited to hear your feedback on this recipe. It's hands down in my top three favorite recipes that I've ever shared with y'all. For dinner, we're switching it up with this delicious, dairy-free, creamy Tuscan chicken over sauteed zucchini noodles. Let's start with the chicken. You're gonna need one and a half pounds of chicken breast. Place those onto a cutting board, cover it with saran wrap, and then just pound the heck out of it. <laughs> this really helps to tenderize the chicken and it helps it to cook more evenly. All right, now let's season the chicken with one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of sea salt, and half a teaspoon each of black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Just rub that all over the chicken, making sure that it's pretty evenly coated. And I went ahead and cut the chicken into 10 pieces, so that way I can add two pieces to each meal prep container. In a large skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado oil along with the chicken pieces, and just let that cook on each side until the chicken is fully cooked through. Now while that's cooking, let's prep our other ingredients, starting with one yellow onion. Just chop that up. I'm also roughly chopping up two cups of spinach, which is gonna help to sneak in extra minerals and antioxidants into our diet. Half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, and you can cut those into strips or little small chunks. And tomatoes are a great source of lycopene, which is a powerful antioxidant that can help to protect your skin from the sun and improve your heart health. Next up, we'll need one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. This helps to give it sort of a cheesy flavor without using dairy. And one can of full-fat coconut milk. Going back to the skillet, once that chicken is fully cooked through, go ahead and remove it from the skillet, drain any excess liquid, and then add in one more tablespoon of avocado oil along with the chopped onion. And saute those onions until they're soft and translucent. While those are sauteing, let's mix up half a cup of chicken broth with two tablespoons of tapioca flour. And this is how we're gonna get that sauce to thicken up without using wheat flour. All right, going back to the onions, once they're done, add in one teaspoon of minced garlic and continue sauteing that for about one or two more minutes. Then pour in the chicken broth tapioca mixture, give that a good mix. Now let's add in the full can of coconut milk and just continue mixing that until it fully comes together. And now let's add in the rest of the ingredients, including the sun-dried tomatoes, nutritional yeast, and spinach. Continue mixing all of that until it's fully combined. Cover it with a lid and let that simmer for about five minutes to help soften that spinach and tomatoes. And at this point, feel free to add in a little bit more chicken broth if you wanna thin out that consistency, along with some more sea salt and pepper to taste. And once you get that sauce to your desired taste and texture, go ahead and add the chicken pieces back in making sure that they're fully coated with that sauce mixture. Cover the skillet with a lid and let that simmer on low medium for about five to 10 more minutes, just to allow all those flavors to come together. And while that's simmering, I'm gonna prep my zucchini noodles using my spiralizer. 
And again, you do not have to use zucchini noodles with this recipe. You can use whatever type of pasta you like. Sometimes I'll make this recipe and serve it over gluten-free chickpea pasta or brown rice pasta. In a skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado oil. And I almost forgot, but I do like to take some scissors and cut those noodles so they're not so long. And you're just gonna saute those noodles until they're slightly soft. Once they're done, add in some sea salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. And to assemble the meal prep containers, I'm gonna add the zucchini noodles in first, followed by two chicken pieces in each container. And I just tried to pair a larger piece with a smaller piece to sort of balance it out. And then top that off with the sauce mixture. Do y'all see how good this sauce looks, y'all? I wish you could smell it right now. And by the way, this sauce can be frozen if you wanna prep it in larger batches. But I think you're really gonna love this recipe as well. It's rich, full of flavor, and extra filling. All right, y'all, dinner meal prep is complete, and we're almost done. We just need to prep our snacks for the week. And I'm keeping it super simple with celery sticks and almond butter. To start, simply cut the celery into whatever size sticks you want. Don't forget to rinse them off. Now, one thing I've been doing for years is adding my celery to a a glass jar and filling it with water. This is going to keep your celery super crispy for the entire week. And you can pre-portion them out into pint-sized mason jars like I'm doing or just put them into one large glass container. For the almond butter, I'm using my stainless steel sauce cups and I'm adding in about two tablespoons to each container. Now this is going to depend on how many calories you want to consume each day, so head over to my blog post for a breakdown of all the calories. And just like that, we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks prepped for a full five-day work week. This is definitely one of my favorite menus that I've ever created for y'all, so I really hope you give this one a try. And by the way, I absolutely love reading all y'all's comments on my meal prep videos about how much they've helped you reach your health and weight loss goals. It just makes my day. I love it, so thank y'all so much. But anyway, my fridge is fully stocked and ready to go for the week. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Another healthy weight loss meal prep. And if you are enjoying this healthy meal prep series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Comment below. I love to hear your feedback, not only on the meal preps, but just any of the recipes. I take it all in, and I'm always trying to perfect my recipes for y'all because I just want y'all to be happy. Anyway, if you give any of my recipes or my meal preps a try, don't forget that you can tag me over on Instagram, and I will reshare that on my stories. Don't forget that for this week, meal prep I have the free downloadable grocery shopping list linked below the blog post linked below where you can print off the recipes and calculate the macros all those important links are listed for y'all below right under this video but anyway that is it for today and I will see y'all in the next one bye